Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Wii Knife Vision R. So the Vision R was one of my favorite new knives from 2022, and I finally got around to getting one for myself. Got one from Knife Center. Uh, they sold out, but eventually shipped. I personally got the uh, blue titanium handled one. This is a Snex design in collaboration with Wii Knife. It's based off a custom model. Uh, obviously, this is a production version, and uh, it is made out of quality materials and features the Snex Super Lock. Before I dive deeper into the knife itself, let's do the standard size comparison up against some of my favorite EDC knives. Here it is up against the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Here it is up against the Benchmade Bug Out, the full size version. Here it is up against the large Chris Reeves Sabenza 31. And here it is up against the uh, Spyderco Para 3. And lastly, here it is up against the Civivi Elementum. If you didn't know, Wii Knife is the parent company of Civivi. So so they're both within the same company. And uh, as you can see, the Vision R is on the larger side. Uh, it's bigger than the Elementum Mini Bug Out and Pair 3. And it's more comparable to the Sabenza, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the handles aren't as big, nor are they as thick as the Sabenza. But the overall length is almost comparable. And uh, side by side, uh, the full size Bug Out, it's also pretty comparable. But the Bug Out is slightly smaller. And lastly, let's compare it up against a ruler. In terms of sharpened blade length, it comes in a little over three inches. Uh, the sharpened blade length like three and a quarter of an inch. And then uh, in terms of overall length, from blade tip to the back of the handle it comes in around eight inches long. In terms of the materials, the blade is made out of a bead blasted 20 CV steel. CPM 20 CV is a high-end powder metallurgy stainless steel that excels in edge retention and corrosion resistance while also providing some good toughness. I personally really like a bead blast finish on a blade. I, I just really like the look of it. And the blade has an ambidextrous thumb hole. The blade is in a reverse Tonto shape and even has a small finger slash sharpening choil near the back. The handle is made out of titanium. I got the blue anodized titanium version. There are multiple colorways of this knife, which is cool. I personally thought the blue titanium was the coolest. The uh, screws are also in blue, which is also cool. Got the Wii Knife logo down here, as well as the Snex logo on the other side. And there are multiple holes for easy cleaning as well as weight reduction. One of the standout features of the knife is the lock itself. This is the Snex Super Lock. What's really cool is that it is a finger safe lock and is one hand operable. And to operate the lock, you simply pull and then the blade closes or opens, which is really cool. Another cool feature about the lock is that you can actually kind of open it even more like this. And then uh, the blade, be careful because the blade now uh, just free, uh, swings freely, but now you can uh, do even more cleaning without actually having to take apart the knife and as you can see uh, the lock is held together with a spring and that is the main mechanism and then to lock it back in lock the lock back in simply pull and then push back in it might look a little complicated but it is very easy to use and very user friendly and as I said before it's a nice finger safe lock your fingers aren't in the path of the blade when you need to close the knife which is awesome another cool feature about this knife is that the pocket clip is in an interesting position which makes it completely ambidextrous in terms of the thumb holes, you also have the lock and the pocket clip. The entire knife is ambidextrous. And while this might look like an awkward pocket clip position, I'll flash up a picture of the knife actually in my pocket. It actually fits well in your pocket. You might think uh, the knife is simply just like this, just vertical, but uh, if you put it in your pocket, you can simply like tilt it like this and the clip is here and your knife is like that. Obviously the picture will show it better, but uh, the pocket clip actually works pretty well. And it's really cool that it's completely ambidextrous dextrous without having to flip sides. I really love the Vision R. Uh, it has a lot of great features that I like in a knife, like a finger safe lock, a uh, premium steel. I think the Vision R has good but not great ergos. The bottom part of the knife, you can get a good full four finger grip, but the top part of the knife, uh, there aren't, there is no jimping on the blade, nor is there in the back. And then the lock bar does kind of stick out.
style. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but uh, it's it's there. It's sometimes uh, in the hitting the back of your thumb, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Probably not really a finger choil, but you can choke up with your fingers there. The super lock is very fun and fidgety to play with. I think it's very satisfying to actuate, and I really like how different it is from standard knife locking mechanisms. This is a $270 knife, however, so it's definitely at a premium price, but I think it's worth it. I think the knife utilizes premium materials in both the blade and the handle. The lock is strong and solidly built, and it is a lot different than standard locking mechanisms, and uh, the, the entire knife being completely ambidextrous is also a great plus. And this being a Wii knife, uh, the quality is amazing, like all Wii and Civivi knives I've held. So what do you guys think of the Wii Knife Vision R? i definitely like to know down in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials, and thanks for watching.